original versus definitive, which version is better when completing? Farewell my love! In this mission you get your car ready for a second race in the woods, there you meet the lovely Carolina who is once again angry at you. After breaking your car she tries to make you feel jealous by hugging her new boyfriend Claude, you start the race, of course win it, and finally you exchange some loving words with Carolina and you send her off to Liberty City. We'll compare tasks, execution, speedrun tactics and gameplay. Both games are vanilla, player on PC, my name is Barry Info, so leave a like and subscribe for more comparison videos. Now let's see how Fairway My Love compares between both versions. Alright, here we go, the opening cutscene. Immediately you notice something off with the definitive. Like for instance, what is this grass doing here? Was it here before? I could have sworn I saw Carolina exit the vehicle before. Well, yes, you are correct, in the original we can clearly see what's going on, but in the definitive the animation is invisible because it's blocked off by foliage. Now I want you to look at the hippie with the long hair right next to Carolina. Look at how he walks. His animation is proper and he doesn't twitch around. Well, in the definitive it's quite the opposite, he slides around, twitches and in general looks just weird. I don't know how they screwed up his animation, but they did. Speaking of weird, Carolina is very, very, very surprised in the definitive. She's no longer angry and scary like before. Look at the menacing face, she wants your blood. In the definitive she's just like a completely different character to me and this applies to every single cutscene she is in. Ok, now in this cutscene with the car you can also see some grass blocking the view, however, I feel like it's a nice touch since it's not blocking key animations. In the original it's fine too, with no grass, but I prefer the definitive here. And also, do you see the shack in the background here? In the original it has no light. The definitive added one, however, this time it's not on. Hallelujah! For the first time ever, a light is not on the whole day in the definitive, woohoo! Apart from this, not much else I can say about the cutscene, so how is the race? One thing I forgot to mention in the previous race video is how races start in the definitive. In the original what happens is you get a countdown and the race begins. In the definitive you also get a countdown, but right before go appears, you get a small pause. Every single complaint I have had about races is still here, mainly the camera which is simply all full in the definitive of countryside races. Very often you will be fighting it so it stays where you want it. You can't even look back unless you lock it backwards with a button and in general it's just a frustrating experience to race in the definitive. Once again when you win in the original you can move around, but of course in the definitive you are stuck in place and you can't move. The next cutscene is exactly the same apart from the bad looking and shiny character models in the definitive, so not much to say here. When the mission ends, you get a phone call from the truth, listen to how CJ answers the phone. What's that? Hey, Carl, dude. He says what's happening, but the subtitles say what up. In the definitive, he says... What's that? Hey, Carl, dude. Yep, proper subtitles this time, nice. I can't say much about the speedrun, it's a race, so in both playstyles you just drive fast. As for which version is better, like I've said before in the previous race video, I despise the camera in the definitive and since this mission relies so much on it, this mission is no longer fun since you constantly gotta battle it. The original wins here, what do you guys think, agree or disagree, let me know what you think in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed, thank you for watching and a very special thank you to my top channel members and patrons, Monish Pradeep, Richard Ford, Extreme, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson, Max Rich, House the Chowder, LMP Racing, Julie Ford, Case Knights and everybody else on the screen. Become a supporter today!